Well, I suppose compared to a lot, I had what you might call a good war. Oh, all right, my Jack went off to the army the day after we were wed. But lots of lasses had that. And then there were the rationing and the blackouts and, and the occasional air raids and the shortages and whatnot that everybody had to put up with. But I had a lot of good stuff that many folk didn't. For a start, I had my job at mill. Aye, and it were a good un and all. Before war, they might have made me leave once I went, but there were no question of that. They needed as much help as they could get. And the boss knew how good I were. He made me an overseer, so the money were quite good, with lots of hours too. Aye, we had more work than we could cope with. War work, of course, making cloth for uniforms. Aye. Aye, and I used to go to the pictures with my best pal, Elsie. Aye. She were in love with Carrie Grant, although I preferred Bogey. <laughs> Aye. We'd go dancing and all. Aye. We'd dance with each other unless a dishy man asked. Oh, but, but nothing I couldn't tell my Jack about when I wrote to him. Oh. And despite rationing, my mam were a dab hand at making a good meal out of whatever we could get. No. War weren't that bad. It were the peace that got me. You see, once my Jack was demobbed and came home, he weren't my Jack anymore. All right, I knew he'd been wounded by a shell on D-Day, but I thought he'd been recovered from that. And so he had, physically. But it had left him, well, mentally damaged. I don't think it had shown much while he was in the army, although I believe they did notice something and treated him for it for a bit. Uh, but that just left him suspicious of doctors. So I had a right job trying to get him to go to the doctor once he came back home. I mean, it were obvious to me from the start. He used to be full of life and, and fun and mischief and always wanting to go out and do things. But that had all gone. He used to just sit at home and listen to the radio. Or do out. He wouldn't take me out. He wouldn't even look for a job. He said he were good at nout. And the nightmares. Oh, we used to shout and scream half the night sometimes. And even in the day he'd get delusions and think he was still in a battle. Never got any better. That Alice Jackson said I were lucky. At least my husband had come home. I told her, aye, my husband came home. But I lost my Jack on D-Day. <laughs>